How you doing, fight fans? EJ Boxing Live here, here to cover this uh, super flyweight bout. I'm here with Nauta. Um, I'm not too good with the uh, with actually saying the names. So, Na Nauta, tell the two fighters' names and give us your take on it. All right, so we got Suisake, so Ron Vasai in the yellow trunks versus Adegai Union in the white and the blue. Um, so Ron Vasai is a former super flyweight title contender from Thailand. Union is from Indonesia. He's a, a, a less experienced fighter, but one of these guys that he'll come in on short notice. And in Thailand, you know, anybody will fight anybody. Man, you could be, you could be the average Joe off the street. You fight, you fight the future world champion because they're just that broad. Cool, man. And you see that, so both of these fighters are from, from Thailand as well. You, and also with Thailand, I think they name their names after the gym. Is that Correct. Yeah, yeah. In Thailand, uh, they're normally named their names either after the gym or after their sponsor. And uh, the thing is, a lot of they have actual dormitories where the fighters will stay. Like, so they almost be like little mini like motels where the fighters will actually stay and they get sponsored by them. They get the you know their gloves and their meals and stuff paid for them. You know, they pay that person to do that. Make them at least successful. Cool, man. And and so so rules and. He's a former WBC uh, a super flyweight champion, and he had it's a controversial fight with uh, Carlos Quadra. And I can tell you, when I was watching the fight, I actually had a so I actually thought he was winning hit with a body shot, and then they head clash, and then because it, um, it was in Mexico, I felt like um, they went to the point, they went to the cars, and Soriman lost his belt. Um, and he's on the climb; he wants the belt. Apparently. Uh, you were saying now he's number one uh, Manchi for, his, for, for that belt again, is that correct? That is correct. He's the, the number one contender. He should be the mandatory. Um, but, and this looks like they're going to probably do it. Run it back. Have a rematch, and I mean the way Rungvisai has been looking lately. I mean he he definitely deserved it, especially from the first fight and with all these types of guys that he's been beating. Okay. Right now, you know, he's, he's doing some pretty good work with the jab. He's closing the distance on the taller opponent. And you know, even though the taller opponent, uh, Union in Indonesia, is landing with his jab pretty well, one was right there, countered with the right hook, with the right hook and cross, mm. and he's doing good for work. Right Absolutely, you can see his, his, his best punches are his left and right hook to the body, and the way he tucks in, he's most like um some Thailand fighter. He's a very good slugger, educated slugger. You see him there slipping the punches over the taller fight, so he can get in. He's got the most devastating body punches in, in his weight class. And I can tell you what, mate, you don't want to be taking no body punches from him, boy. So um, he's got a pretty good record, pretty extensive. And I tell you what, he's one of Thailand's good fighters, along with um, uh, Remran, um, the IBF flyweight champion. I think he's their second best fighter in the country. What's your take? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think he's right up there with Ron Long. Um, actually, I think he's probably a little bit more skilled than Ron Long. Ron Long is a, a bit more crafty in terms of getting the Ws, even if he doesn't necessarily have the full technical abilities. But um, Ron Vasai is right, right there with him. He's uh, one of Thailand's best. Yeah. And of course, you know, you also have uh, Ron Hamanayo at 105 and Knockout CP Freshman at 105. Wow, pretty much. Th those are like the, the four crowns of, uh, of Thailand currently. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, you got me on that one there. All right, round one's in the books. Who do you think score? Who do you think won that round? Um, that one was, uh, was actually pretty close. I mean, uh, uh, Union did pretty good uh, work, but I think one of the side was landing the sharper blows, as you can see right there, the little uppercut. He was ready to follow up with the right hand, but he throw it against the high part. Mm. Yeah. So I'm side, I'm side yeah. Took the first. yeah, it looks like it. And he's still moving in. I'll give him the first round as well. And you get me this this fight uh sort of a schedule. I think it's scheduled for ten rounds. But um, he's definitely on the comeback obviously after losing the, after losing his title. So um we're gonna see how I uh, see what he does here. But um it's an interesting content that he is. Call the action, go ahead Nato, call the action. Actually the, the fight was scheduled for six rounds, actually. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. but, yeah, man, I mean you have for a guy that's only um that's only the, let's see, it was about three, he was three and four before this fight took place. Um, he's, he's boxing pretty well, but you know, a lot of these guys from Thailand and Indonesia, um, they're, they're also Muay Thai fighters, so even though they don't have glossy boxing records, they, they, you know, they're, most of them are very, very experienced combats just in fighting good. And yeah, as you can see right here, now he turned, he's turned south on his landing left pretty well, but you know, he just turned back orthodox and immediately moved the side of the camera with the jab. Yeah. The jab on him. That's what I was going to say, the way he can switch punch with no let. He's very schooled in boxing as well. And the thing is, yeah, from their young, most of these, most of these Thai fighters, they learn to fight Thai boxing as well. But I'm not surprised, they've been pretty decent MMA fighters, but I don't think they've got submissions, but bloody, yo, they 
they're not they know how to fucking <laughs> kick and punch boy for real from when they were born man they could take people out yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the national so pastime, you know, Muay Thai is like the national pastime of Thailand, and uh, really a lot of their best Muay Thai fighters will transition over to boxing simply because they get paid for it, because with Muay Thai, it's mostly just fighters from Thailand, with boxing fighters from all over the world, so the questions are a little bit higher for them. Hey, this fight's heating up, man, there's some heated exchanges in there, and I can tell you what, man, I think they think, I think the, um, the, game, the, the game plans have gone out the window, and these two are just going for it, look, they were, they're caught up in the exchanges right now, boy. Yeah, yeah man, Union has says proven to be more difficult than his record would show. You know, I looked at like an Orlando Sanito, for instance, guy that doesn't have a glossy record, but when you get in there with him, he, he's a tough player to swallow. And uh, he's, he's gauging the distance really well. Rumpasai is trying to close the distance, and he's trying to land that wicked right hand to the body. As you can see right there, he just hurt. Mm. Left hook, right hand, you see the, the mouthpiece showing off him. Of the toilet of the opponent. And I can tell you what, man, he's feeling some of his body shots here, man. He's getting, he's tucking up. That's round two in the books. And I tell you what, that was, that was a better round, actually, for the challenger. Um, yeah. You see the Thailand of, um, crowd on hand in there. Come to see this fight. They're cheering them on. And I tell you what, man, proud, a proud Thailand fighter at that, man. Look at these, look at these shots in the, in the slow mo. Beautiful left upper, left, left shots. Right yeah, on cuts. Uh, yeah, right now the Indonesian fighter Union is uh, going bad with him, so it looks like the crowd is a little bit upset at that. So Rumpasai is coming out with a uh, full force in the third round, trying to knock him out to the body. Yeah, he's just walking him down, have no respect for each other. He got no respect for what this guy's breaking. And he's just digging in and digging the punches underneath the elbow. And you can see some of his punches have an effect. As you can see, the taller guy is holding his, um, his elbows down now. Look, you can see that he's tucking it now, he's tying up as well. Yeah, yeah Glenn Lane is so the distance because Yun Yun is definitely hurt to the body. Yun Yun is definitely hurt to the body, man. Look at him trying to move around. Right the thing you rarely see a guy with right hooks to the body that hurt that much. You know, usually it's the left hook. Because oh. that's where the is. But the right hook is right where your stomach is. So, I mean, he's, he's doing some, some good damage right there. Yun Yun is giving ground and not, not because he wants to, mate. He's on his bike, mate. <laughs> And he's punching yeah, this nigga in. Look at him. He started to clown around and that. And, he, and the thing is, he's more concerned about survival than he is trying to trying to land punches. Look, he's actually basically punching, trying to keep it long range, which he should have done for before because he's got the reach advantage. But I'll tell you what, Zorazo, he's just closing the distance and he's just whipping him in. Every part, look, he's doing the right thing of tying him up. The referee done a good job of breaking there. You, look, man, them punches are, are, are like body punches. You may stop feeling, stop feeling that in the later round you start to feel them, and I think he's feeling them. Uh, look at that! That was a beautiful right up. Um, cross to the body. You can just tell by by the look on Rumpasai's face, he's looking to kill, man. He's looking to crush this guy and bear, fold him in half for that shot. Yeah, man. I mean, he wants Carlos Cosmo bad, man. He will do whatever he wants to do just to get back up there to get his belt back. Because he felt like he was wrong, and look at his body punches, man. The referee's throwing him in. I tell you what, man, you can see this contest is warming up. Schedule for schedule for six round. There's another left hook to the body again. What? So, woof. He's just walking him down now. Like stalking predator. <laughs> yeah, Yunya doesn't have much defense other than the tie up at the moment. No. He needs to catch his win. Yeah, he's just trying to far, so. Yeah, he's just, he's just, just keep just walking him down, slowly pacing him. And the thing is, he's not, he's not holding a hard pace, he's just sleepy, he's slipping, he's well schooled. Man, let him boy, he's more like a, 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 a Thailand Mike Tyson, but the way he's slipping in. Look how he's just walking him down, man. Was that the end of round three? Yeah, it's the end of round three. I'll get wrong side. I'll get wrong side of the round. It's slow mo. Go ahead now to tell them who's getting the slow mo. Yeah, man, he's, he's basically just leveling up the same combination over and over again, hitting him with the jab to the head and then the right hook to the body as he lifts his hands up. Mm. It's a combination that's been working beautifully for him. Round four commenced. Schedule for six. EJ Box alive here with Nauta. Uh, cover raw side, former WBC super flyweight champion on the come up trying to get his belt back off Carlos Quadra and I can tell you what man, he, he, he looks like he looks like he's just trying to keep this guy off of everything he can I don't know if he can boy, we can take, we can go to six rounds boy and that's a left hook, that's a right hook to the body, right up to the body, that look painful man yeah. 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 he's buckling in this man with every shot he's throwing and even right there as he missed, you can see, you can see the amount of force he's putting on every shot. Every shot he's throwing in, man. Oh! 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 Oh!
off his cooty off, and that's it. Oh my! His mouthpiece came out, and then his lunch came out. And the gun is. Oh my! Have you ever seen that note? I've never seen that in the ring. Them body punches. I've heard, I've heard of it in sparring. Never seen it in a professional fight. Never oh, before. But hey, I, I love this side. Looks like he probably has though. He's, he's looking at it like it ain't nothing. Here we go in the slow one. God knows, God knows. To call it in the slow one. Oh, the cold blood. He hits him with a clean left cross to the body out of the southpaw stance right to the solar plexus. And at that point, Union just had enough. He bent over and he's. He's letting whatever he had earlier, some soup or whatever he had earlier, actually, it's, it's coming up out of him. Look at this. Look at slow-mo. He bells down, looks at the thing. They, they, they actually don't even know slow because it's so disgusting. Look at the people in the crowd. They're like, oh my yeah, god. The crowd, the crowd is, is horrified. The crowd is If we go to slow-mo, yeah, I'm gonna, listen, this guy, hey, listen, if you're an opponent and you're seeing that, I'm gonna say that, you're thinking, what the, I think it's just slow mo of, of the, the whole battle. But that, that punch, that punch to the, oh, he got him right on the button in the stomach and everything he ate from the previous two days just came out of his body, man. Yeah, well, and the thing is he warmed him up with all those previous right hooks to the body. The stomach is, uh, is, is pretty much center, there it is. slightly to the, to the left. There it is. Side. And yeah, right there, that left cross, out of the southpaw stance. These are the, these are the punches. I mean, for and us... And at that point, Swiss Arcade yeah, just turned around because he knew it was over. He knew that. <laughs> look at this. Yeah. Look how he just let over and just... Oh, God. This is vomited all over. There's the, I mean, the martial ceremony is going to say... Look <laughs> <laughs> By boy, by I think that's by technical knockout. Yeah, that's it, man. All right, EJ Boxing Live. Now, so we catch you next one. Peace. Peace.